Hey everybody, now we're gonna get going on the landing gear mounts. So um, we'll go ahead and get going on that. But before I do, I got in the mail today my Castle Creations Ice HV160. Uh, it's my speed control for this whole thing. So um, could have swore I ordered the uh, light version, but they sent me the uh, full on with the um, heat sink and everything. So. Um, so I guess I'll be taking this one, so disregard my last uh, question in one of my other um, videos asking whether or not it was a good idea to get the light version, because I got the full version. So, anyways, um, back onto the gear. Um, <clears throat> this is one of the very first pieces that I, I built, so it is already assembled, so sorry about that. But we're almost getting to the point that everything will be brand spanking new, so going forward. But um, basically it just consists of... Um, three pieces for this front part. There's the bottom, that front piece, and then two side pieces. Um, <clears throat> I've sanded it to shape a little bit um, to match the uh, contours of the uh, fuselage. Um, really all you do is you put these uh, threaded inserts in that will hold the um, little hex screws in there that holds everything. Uh, that part there is for the um, air cylinder mount. So um, that's the front part that will go on like that and then there's just a back part here um, all I did on that was um, you just rest it underneath figure out where the screw holes are pre-drill some holes and then you're pretty much good to go on that so that goes underneath that side like that so that's pretty much how that will look when it's uh, when it's all done um, I'll get some video of what it looks like assembled here in just a second, but uh, anyways, uh, here's the air cylinder. Um, I've got it kind of lined up um, the way that's going to go. Um, we've just got a screw here, a washer that goes into through the uh, cylinder onto the mount here. The mount just mounts into that hole right there uh, with those two screws. Um, I did put this on the end of the cylinder, <clears throat> just that uh, little piece there. Um, basically it says to tighten it all the way down until it hits and then unscrew it three turns, uh, which I did. And this is the piece that actually attaches to the landing gear door. So um, pretty much that's, that's it. Uh, I'll get this on a tripod here and then I'll assemble that and we'll put this together as well so all right I'll see you on the next step okay so let's go ahead and uh, put this together um, we're just gonna take our screw our washer uh, we're gonna insert it on the side with the um, uh, valves there and just like that Through the side there, and screw it down. Okay, so you want it to move uh, freely like that, so not have uh, too much slack there. Still got a little bit. There we go, that's better. So, whoop de doo, whoop de doo. All right, so now we are going to go ahead and, you know what, let's melt the uh, landing gear on here first. on all right so that's 
that's the landing gear on the landing gear mounts. Um, this is the side that will be up inside the fuselage and here's our um, wheel control for the for the nose gear there. So that's how that looks. And now let's put in our cylinder here. to put a little spacer under there. Um, doesn't look like it's folding flat. So it looks like this might be a little bit too uh, too much recessed uh, inside there. So anyways, I'll take a look at that, but uh, pretty much we're just about ready to go for um, mounting this inside the fuselage, but uh, we gotta get our gear door all hinged up and everything first, so but uh, this will be ready to go for when we're at that stage. So I'll see you on the next step here. Okay, so we're looking at the underside of the fuselage here um, where the gear door is going to go. Um, <clears throat> I have already mounted the hinges. Again, this is one of the very first steps that I did. It's one of the first steps in the uh, instruction manual, but um, all I really did was um, it says to take a um, or I took a straight line anyways and drew seven millimeters from the lip there uh, back so that they'd both be on the same and then I just uh, kind of centered up the hinges um, where the holes are um, and then you just take the screws that are uh, provided and you go from the um, outside of the fuselage in um, I've seen on one of the forums anyways where um, somebody was trying to screw it uh, from the inside out uh, but you won't get any grip there so anyhow um, you want to make sure that these open up you want a hundred degrees it says of uh, movement so it looks like we're plenty good there and the other thing that you want to watch out for is when you have your landing gear inside here. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it uh, while I'm holding the camera. But anyways, uh, you can see that. See how there's a little notch? There's one also on the right there you can see. Um, you want to make sure that that will move um, freely even when you're holding the gear in place here. Otherwise your door is going to bind up there and not be able to close all the way. So that's all there is to that step. So um, we're just about ready. We can get in and um, start gluing the door on. So that's what we'll do next. Okay, so here's one thing that you want to pay attention to. Um, probably your first instinct is to glue this on straight, just like this, uh, like you would just about any other model. Um, but the instructions say that you need to offset um, this so that basically you'll be, is it a millimeter on the back? or the rear I should say, and a millimeter on the front off like this. So the one on the front you're going to be a millimeter this direction and up towards the back you're going to be a millimeter this direction. Um, what they say is that when the uh, air cylinder pulls the door in it will correct that. So um, I've heard that this is kind of a nightmare um, to set up so we'll see how it goes. but. Uh, Anyway, um, I'm not going to be able to do this with, with the camera, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to glue that in the correct way. So I'll show you what that looks like when we're done. Okay, one thing I'm going to do to try to make this a little bit easier, you can see I've got it offset uh, at one millimeter. It's actually a 1.01, .01, so... Um, I did that on the front and the back kind of overlaps here at the 1.01. .01. I guess it's probably easier to take a look up at this side. So anyways, and then this way I can flip the fuselage over and then uh, just basically let the hinges um, rest on there with gravity. And then I'm just going to use 
uh, CA to kind of tack it in for right now just to test the operation and everything. So I'll show you how that works out. Okay, we're going deep inside undercover here. So anyways, uh, you can see how I've got the hinges. They're just uh, barely resting in there. Um, and that's just gravity holding that on there. So um, I'll go ahead and use the light CA, but uh, you can see it's probably a little bit easier to try to glue it this way than if I had left it upside down and tried to figure out how to get in there like that. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, glue those in and go on to the next step. So Okay guys, here we are with our fully functional nose landing gear door here. So um, still have to put the gear in obviously, but uh, looks like everything uh, working out pretty good on that it's got a nice tight fit so um, I'm not going to put the screws in yet um, that hold the door on um, I kind of want to do that last once we know for sure everything works so that way I don't have to do any filling or anything in case I screw that up so anyways so I think we're just about done with that and uh, I'm hoping we can get on to installing the gear next so I'll see you on the next video Thank you.